Okay, this is a Frankenstein quadcopter bill number, or session number three, I guess I'll call it, or episode number three. I didn't get into the real particulars of uh, doing the, the solder and stuff. I didn't really feel like it was needed. I mean, if you're watching this, you probably already know how to do that. Um, as you can see, I've got my uh, quadcopter somewhat half assembled now. Of course I took it all apart as I showed in the first one. Now I have the controller in it. Um, I have the speed controllers wired. Um, if you look at it, you can see how I mounted the speed controllers. Just mounted them on each one of the quadcopter legs. Mounted my receiver over here. And then my JIYI uh, P2 controller uh, mounted in the middle as suggested by instructions. And we've already configured it. I don't have it all wired tied down yet. If you notice here, you can see my speed controllers. I actually, I had that uh, power distribution block, but realized this frame has the option of using the uh, actual frame as part of the, uh, of the power block. So um, as you can see, I just took my speed controllers and wired them in to uh, positive and negative on, on the frame. This frame was bought off of eBay too. I just call it generic because I don't know. I mean, I think I gave like 40 bucks for the frame. And uh, it's just a generic 450 quadcopter size. And as you can see, I have all my speed controllers wired up, my receiver, I'm using an AR610 receiver. Got it wired up, got my second tenna here. Um, as you can see, I use one of the power blocks for the power for the flight controller. It sits in there. If you notice, I've got it pointed towards the front of the copter, like that. But anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd break off. Uh, I've got this is about my well, this is my third day of working on it. I'm spending a couple hours each day assembling it. And, uh, it's looking pretty good, by the way. Uh, I did do a power test when I hooked the first speed controller up to the to the motor because I was using those 12 amps and I was a little concerned about the size not being correct well after I hooked up my power meter and fired the first one up it uh it pulls exactly 100 watts and about seven and a half to eight amps so I'm I'm only at like 65 or 70 percent of capacity on the speed controller so I sized them perfect and that's good because you know obviously weight matters and putting a 20 amp on there wouldn't have gained me anything and the 12 seemed to be doing just fine. By the way I did a nifty little trick uh, since I decided to go ahead and hardwire these in. I was going to use bullet connectors but it was just going to add weight and it really wasn't any need for it so they're just wired straight into the motors as you can see I, of course I use shrink wrap. But the way I did it was is each each big controller I got a another receiver and I bound it to an, another channel on my radio just or another model on my radio just to use as a test jig and uh, as I hooked up uh, or wired up each speed controller I just uh, had that receiver bound and uh, used the speed controller and the battery to uh, make sure the direction was right because you know on, a, on brushless motors you swap two of the wires around and it, it changes the direction of the motor so you know, since I already had the X configuration and the props were all mounted right it made it real easy obviously if, if, I, if I had lift when I throttled up, I knew I had the uh, speed controller turning in the right direction. So anyway, there it is. I'll try to get a good close shot of the JIYI P2. Um, so far, so good. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, after I get it buttoned up, I figure I got about another evening, and I think I'll have this thing pretty much buttoned up. I don't know if I'll have all the FPV stuff on, but I might give it a flight test before I actually hook the FPV stuff up, see, see how it's doing. I did go ahead and uh, uh, did an update on the on the controller on the flight controller. Um, there's a, in the software that you download from the manufacturer. There was an option to uh, or an up updater application, and I went ahead and ran it and it updated it. it it's not real informative. It did say uh, that it updated it, so hopefully the software I got it on now is more current than, than the one I had on it, but. I don't know if it went out and looked at it or if it was something in the file that I downloaded, but either way, it, uh, it did it did do the updating process. So we'll see. Um, 
it, it also didn't mess with any of my configurations that I had in the uh, flight controller previously. So hopefully uh, this is a little informative. This is kind of just a short video just to show you where we're at with the with the Frankenstein quadcopter as I'm calling it. It's kind of a it's a definitely a Heinz 57 of quadcopters. Uh, and I'll figure I'll get it finished tomorrow and hopefully uh, over the weekend I'll I'll give you a flight review and a flight test of it.